All right, Steve, thanks a lot for getting us all of the highlights of this CNBC survey on how consumer spending is really shaping up this festive season. Like we said, it is at the lowest level that we've seen since 2013. But that's what we're tracking globally. Let's talk about all of the cues that you should watch as we get into a fresh trading session. We have our research team with us. Nigel, Vivek and Vaheshta all join us now to prep us up for this trading session. Guys, a very good morning to all of you. And Vivek, coming to you once again, it just does not look like the global Christmas cheer is picking up. Well, good morning. Absolutely right. You know, the Santa Rally this year has been missing so far as far as the global markets are concerned. As you mentioned, you know, the U.S. markets are down for the fifth trade session. In fact, even European markets ended on a weak note yesterday, down anywhere between 0.4 to 0.6 percent. Uh, gold prices yesterday, you know, took a U-turn and actually gained a percent. At yesterday, both dollar as well as the bond yields eased off. However, you know, what spells good news as far as India is concerned is the fall as far as crude oil prices continued and you know oil actually oil price actually ended at a fresh low as far as 2022 was concerned Brent futures down over 2.8 percent closer to the 77 dollars per barrel mark now coming closer to the Indian markets quite a few cues that we need to keep an eye out for number one you know the outcome of the Gujarat as well as the Himachal Pradesh elections assembly elections is the one that we're talking about quite important also we have a new listing debut so Dharmaraj crop guard you know this particular IPO saw a very strong subscription of over 35 times and also when you're talking about the Indian market, the Indian market ended lower yesterday, very volatile trading session. And, you know, this was mainly on the back of the commentary from the RBI policy as well. Now, when you're talking about, uh, you know, the entire market breadth, OMCs were the one that actually outperformed. Realty and IT both underperformed in yesterday's trading sessions, mainly on the back of higher interest rate worries. Uh, so overall today, it seems like a muted start to the trading session. It'll be interesting to see whether the dip today is bought as well. All right, we'll wait by and see whether the dip is bought or not. Vivek, thanks a lot for that. And now let's hand it over to Vaishra, who has the entire list of stocks that you should keep on your radar as we get into this fresh trading session. Vaishta, good morning. Good morning, Pavitra. Let me start with HCL Tech, which teams up with Intel and Mavenir to deliver critical 5G enterprise technology solutions. The collaboration would help deliver more 5G solutions to IoT and enterprise verticals. Moving on to Aisha Motors, which inaugurates its new CKD facility in Brazil and would have an assembly capacity of more than 15,000 units per annum. Everready Industries has appointed a new CFO with effect from 14th of February 2023. Metro Brands has completed a 100% acquisition of Cravatex Brands, which is engaged in the business of importing, trading, distributing footwear, apparel and accessories under various brands, which include the likes of Phila and Proline. Macrotech Developers has fixed QIP offer Floor price at 1,023 rupees per share, and the company and the selling shareholders may offer a discount of not more than 5% on the floor price. And the date of the purpose of the offer is fixed at 7th of December. And the last stock is Triveni Engineering, which is having a block deal of, up of approximately 500 crores. And this comes to nearly 7.03% of the equity, and the promoter entity is the likely seller. Back to you. All right, Vaishta, thanks a lot for getting us that entire list of stocks. We're going to keep these on our radar. Finally, it's over to Nigel, who's tracking all of the cues from the futures and options space. And Nigel, looks like that FII selling continues. Well, that's right, Pavitra. You were saying Santa has not come to town, but the FIs as well, they seem to, you know, the flow seem to be waning in the month of December so far. So yesterday, the net institutional number, I look at the FI and the DI together, that was the net sell number from 850 crores. And, year, and in this month so far, I think we had around five sessions. They've bought only once. So they've net selling close to around 4,500 crores odd. What do the FIs do in the FRO market? Well, we were asking for some shots to be added, right, in the system, and that's precisely what's happened. So there is some shots that, that have got added. They continue to remain net long, but now the short positioning from around 20, 22%, it's moved to around 39% or thereabouts. They are buying calls as well. So you'll say that's positive. However, they're writing calls very, very aggressively. So that's telling you that higher level, uh, the smarter money they seem to be playing for that resistance to hold out, 18,800, 18,850 odd. What are the options data looking like? Well, yesterday, as I said, call writing has taken center stage. So you have the 18,600, 18,700, as well as the 18,800 call. Between them, they added closure on one crore share. So aggressive call writing being seen at those levels. Let's plug in the numbers then. Since the 18,600 call was fairly active yesterday, you plug in the premium, you're getting a resistance closer around 18,675 odd. On the downside, though, we're nearing a bit of a support zone. 
because the 18,500 put has the highest open interest on the put side and the premium out there is around 25 rupees. So that gives you your stop loss at around 18,475. The 20 DMA, that will be eyed both on the Nifty and the Nifty Bank. If we can hold on to those levels, you know, protect them, then this uptrend is pretty much intact. But that's the first level of support on the downside. The HX50 is suggesting a bit of a pullback. Let's see how we do from there. But keep in mind, today is weekly expiry as well. So volatility will pick up in the final hour of trade. Back to you. All right, Nigel, Vaishta, Vivek, thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through the trade setup. So slightly muted start, and then we could see some volatility like Nigel was just pointing out because it is expiry day as well. But with